share it. Uh, hang on, uh, with banner. So I'll just go with your guys' flow. Okay, I mean, I, I, I. Hello, are we live? <laughs> yeah, we always ask the screen question. Are we live? <laughs> yes, we are live. Let's but check I don't the see, Facebook. I don't Let's see on the Facebook the... though. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, I saw that Chrissy Tasker is live now. But what does it mean? Okay, give us a minute. Let me see on our Facebook. And that is where you can share it out. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. Uh... Yeah, 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 I'm live. Okay, wait. Uh, I have a lot of page that is live, so I better close it first. <laughs> <laughs> because so many page open now. Uh, Raul, can you see? Um, my browser is frozen up for some weird reason. Uh, no, I can hear it on the. You see, I have like, where's the voice? Where's the sound come from? I'm trying to trace it. <laughs> Who's is it a uh, kid? What is if that? it's on your Facebook, maybe you have to tilt down the volume on your Facebook. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna mute you first. <laughs> okay, is that okay? Yes. Yeah, much better. So we live on YouTube. That's good. Yeah. Are we live on? Uh, uh, I don't know whether are we live on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> you can keep the banter going. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Yes. Yeah, we are live on. Live on YouTube. God, I have tons of <laughs> page. <laughs> okay, let me see. Ah, uh, Zupin is here. Hello, Zupin. Thank you for coming. Hi, Zupin. Yeah, but have you figured out how to share how to share it with a friend like watch live with friends on facebook live you can you share your own. link i uh, know yeah, i think there's a way like you sh you on the watch party to... yeah yeah somebody else will have to do it they'll have to build up like say for example if zubin is there then zubin will have to do a watch party and uh bring this in yeah Okay, we are live. Okay, welcome again to Wheel of Wellness live streaming. Now, we have here, okay, wait, I always get the orientation right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, okay. <laughs> you know, you on the right, on the right, I'm on your right, Chrissy. I'm okay, we right have here Raul and Kids, okay, with us at live streaming. Hello, say hello to everyone first. Hi, everybody. Okay, now before we introduce Kids, right? We're just going to share uh, with everybody uh, who are we, okay? So if they come across or stumble across our live streaming, that who is this three super big face talking on this <laughs> Facebook? At least they know what is it all about, okay? Uh, okay. Welcome again to Wheel of Wellness uh, Live, Facebook Live. We are a community that aim to bring people together uh, in this platform to connect, explore, uh, to share knowledge and experience. So we main, mainly aim to inform and improve well-being of um, everyone through uh, knowledge of physical, mental, and spiritual health. So please do come and join us at our Way of Wellness Community Facebook group. Uh, please also help us to share out today the Facebook live streaming because there's tons of knowledge here that will really help you improve your well-being. Thank you again for uh, being with us here today. So we have here kids. Hello, kids. Say hello, hello, hi, Chrissy. Everybody. Hi, Chrissy. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet everybody. I'm not sure who is watching, but yeah, <laughs> hi, everybody who's watching. Okay, we, we're just going to give a, a short introduction about kids before we move on to bombard him with all kinds of questions <laughs> that we wanted to ask. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, kids say, I'm, 
he still do not know what happening but he, he just turned up here today <laughs> yeah i just turned up here today not knowing what these two have for me <laughs> okay now case is a meridian uh train you know, therapy trainer and he run health and wellness business showing people how to slow down their aging and living a quality life of health and vigorous uh, he is a fervent advocate of various modality of natural health including anti-aging cell therapy neurosurgical aromatherapy guasa the tcm method bloody hell you tell is ask him anything he will know okay i, and, I hope so i hope so <laughs> now i i knew um kids right we have we i know him for a shortest time but i knew that we're going to have the longest relationship because wow. he he turns like every time i had somebody that need help right all i do is i would text kids <laughs> i think my friend need help and then you know he would just selflessly come into then was, what we do is we always start forming a chat group and say okay let's see how we can help i like we did so many of this like group now like with just madness but he is so selfless and he's really a kind person that you know, go. All, his really main purpose is to help you and help you to improve your well-being. Thank you again, kids, for thank you for being here today. Okay, now oh, that, that Rahul one, is the one that <laughs> have a whole list of questions that he want to bombard oh. you. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> now, at first, but the three of us actually we have one really really common thing. Wear glasses. You, Grace, oh. No, mine is here. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is a super uh, Agnes girl. Yeah, super, yeah okay. super woman. But this, not only that, I think we all love food, don't we? Oh, <laughs> if we yeah. I think we start this topic, we're going to be not stop. Okay, today is not about food. Maybe we'll talk about food later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to pass to Raul because he has tons of questions for you kids. <laughs> now, especially current, the situation in India, we hope we can help. We hope whatever oh. knowledge that we share today, we can help a little bit on improving people immunity improving the situation there improving knowledge to like you know gear them up in the situations like this we're gonna pass to raul now raul go ahead and bombard him with a question oh, there. So the, the, <laughs> no, 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 nothing of that so you know people just make it up that i have difficult <laughs> questions to ask <laughs> nothing, but, of that sort. <laughs> nothing of that so the only um amusing bit was like i think um Last week we did Dr. Teja and, and I knew a little about him and then I said, Oh, you did this, you did that. And then he was so surprised. He's like, How do you know that? <laughs> hey, every of the guests always say, How do you know that? Yeah, I'm gonna be very, like, soon, very soon they'll be hiding it. <laughs> no. But you know, to start with, uh, I, I already tweeted to the Singapore government about this, and I wanna say thank you to um, both of you also that um, it's usually not the size of the help, it's the intention to help. So Singapore being a small country, a small nation, which, you know, nowhere is close in terms of the size or the ability of India. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they were the first ones to step up and send help. So for that, I think not only me, but every citizen of this country is grateful. So thank you so much for the kind people over there. Yeah. Uh, so now, now kid, tell us about yourself. You know, you are into a lot of things, like Chrissy said, and your bio is huge. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's everything <laughs> how do you how do you what where do you begin like tell us when you finish up school what what were you initially into and how did you get into all this um believe it or not you know i am an uh i'm an engineer by training <laughs> wow really okay. i didn't see that coming <laughs> yeah, yeah okay so you know i'm uh, i've uh i've been working in the technical line for you know uh close to i would say 25 30 years although i don't look that old <laughs> <laughs> so his anti-aging therapy work then <laughs> yeah but i've, I've always had a, a an innate interest in uh, natural therapy you know and then of course you know i, I was i was learning tai chi and, and stuff like that and then my my tai chi master happened to be also you know uh do chinese massage you know to help with sprain foods and stuff so you know from there i kind of pick up the uh, the the uh the a little bit of the knowledge but then what happened was that you know i've always thought that you know to be a tcm doctor so you know i, I have this aspiration to be like tcm trained but you know after wow. looking at seven <laughs> seven years so. seven years of training yeah yeah really seven years of training plus don't know how many years of apprenticeship you know i kind of like okay gave up that 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 thought 
but then you know uh, on on like uh, in formal manner i kind of like pick up a little bit from um, from you know my my master and so forth but that that was until about four years ago you know i i chanced upon an old friend uh, named elvin and i kind of vaguely remember elvin uh, was doing something related to meridians believe me i didn't even know what the heck it was back then so you know we we caught up for I think dinner. a lot of people do not know where's yeah, meridian. Yeah. Where's meridian? I think yeah, a lot of people do not know where meridian is. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll come to that a little bit later okay, when we talk okay. about meridian. So so I'll finish up the story. So, uh, of course you know I I caught up for for dinner with Elvin and say, hey Elvin, are you still doing that 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 meridian thingy? You know what what the heck is that? <laughs> say no, no, it's a little hard to explain. Why don't I invite you to one of the workshops and then you find out what it is? And believe me, that was like the first time. I stepped into a Meridian therapy workshop and I tell you that two hours was the biggest eye opener I ever had. You know, I tell you, I was like, my mom was like, you mean people actually do that? Wow, this is cool, you know, and, and stuff. And that was really my first introduction to what uh, Gua Sha was about, right? Before yeah, that, yeah. believe me, I didn't even know what the heck was Gua Sha, you know, I mean, I, I knew what was acupuncture, you know, maybe a bit of Tui Na Massage. But that was really my first introduction to uh, what meridian therapy was about and how wonderful it could be and then of course i fell in love with that whole thing and then you know i decided that hey you know this is really cool man i want to be a trainer <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 i tell you i, I tell you the joke was very funny why why i so love it right? so immediately after that first workshop right you know we were learning shoulder gua sha and so i said wow this is really cool and then that so happened the next day I was going for a potluck uh, party, right? And then, you know, we, we had we had Malays, uh, we had different races. Then I said, hey guys, you know, guess what? You guys gonna bring food. I'm just gonna bring my, my oils and I'm gonna do kwa sha for everybody. You know, everybody was like, what's, what's that? I say, okay, look, look, don't ask too much, okay? <laughs> So, so we had a potluck and then uh, we we then we had people started stripping you know and for oh the wow oh, <laughs> what kind of potluck is this like yeah ding, ding. <laughs> okay. and then of course i you know i tell you at, at first everybody was kind of like uh you know kind of look at me and say are you sure i said okay who wants to be the guinea pig so i tell you when i did the first one everybody was like wow i also want you know in the end i end up doing the whole <laughs> The whole gang, that's why I'm like, wow, look, this thing is really, you know, uh, catchy, you know, people actually love it once they experience it. So, you know, I mean, especially in Singapore, where it's multicultural, it's interesting, you know, you see Malays, Indians, you know, <laughs> all sorts of races do Kwa Sha. So, yeah, that, that's really how I fell in love with it, you know, got myself up as a trainer. And then I, since then, I've been doing uh, workshops, uh, you know, uh, formal, informal training, whatever it is, you name it, lah, okay? So that's really how I end up doing uh, Marian therapy in a whole nutshell, okay? <laughs> okay, um, you guys were asking what, what is Meridians, right? So I'll yeah. uh, try and give a very layman. So you just think about uh, there's this uh, there's wondrous interconnecting channels throughout our whole bodies, right? uh you know connecting out all our main organs and so forth now these are not nerves and so forth like what we know from western physical medicine right and a lot of people always mistaken meridians uh, as just a very chinese thing in fact it's not right i mean the uh, the indians actually call it nadis right yeah the indians call it nadis right? the chinese call it meridians of course uh you know the the different names are, but you know you think about it you know if there if the meridian concept doesn't exist then the whole thing like acupuncture doesn't exist at all right so so what's important with these meridians that connect all these uh, organs throughout the whole body is is both blood and chi flows through the whole body okay blood and chi flows through the whole body through these meridian channels okay and then um you know the, the the tcm concept is very interesting okay the tcm concept is not very far from the ayurvedic concept right so in are you in ayurvedic medicine chi is known as prana okay if you do yoga you do prana that is equivalent to chi of course the western world call it life force energy la, you know that's really about it so in, in in tcm you know if your blood and chi flows well throughout your whole body basically you stay healthy that's really about the gist of what uh tcm uh, it's all about and what's interesting is you know in contrary to what a lot of people thought that traditional Chinese medicine is because it came from China you know mm -hmm. if you look at the word 
Zhong uh, okay, which actually is how is uh, written la Zhong Zhong Yi, right? People people thought the Zhong the Zhong is actually a a word with like a mouth a and a, and a stroke yeah, uh, a yeah. box and a stroke in the in it, right? People are always mistaken and say, oh, that means Zhong Guo, uh, China. Yeah, That's why yeah. it's called traditional Chinese medicine. But uh, fundamentally, it's not because the word Zhong, the way it's written, actually means balance. Right, it's a very balanced thing. Right, oh, it's a square wow. with it's, okay, it's a okay, square. Okay. It's a square with a stroke right in the center. Right, if I want to translate traditional Chinese medicine, it basically means a uh, medicine of balance, and it's all right. about retaining balance in your body, which is all this yin and yang thing. Like if your yin and yang is in balance, everything flows well in the body, no traffic jam and so forth, you remain healthy. So fundamentally, that's really the concept of what traditional Chinese medicine was about, right? Keeping, maintaining uh, good balance inside the whole body. Yeah. And, and this balance... Let me see if I can find the character of this one. Yeah. So, this, this, yeah. yeah, so this balance would be, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, of course, in the, in the older days when life was a lot more simple, I think, you know, people live healthily, eat healthily, you know, it's easier to remain balanced. But, you know, I mean, in a modern society, believe me, it's actually harder and harder to remain the balance, right? Due to many factors, yeah. right? From, from diet, you know, the way we eat, we eat processed food, you eat a whole, whole bunch of junk. Uh, lifestyle, you know, people are stressed, you know, people are working under stress and people don't sleep when they should be sleeping, you know, when they should be sleeping, they are doing other stuff. Uh, you know, and that's the uh, environment, you know, pollution and so forth. So mm. there are many things that literally throw our whole body off balance. Let alone talk about things like phone radiation and, and stuff like that. Like, okay. So there are many things that actually, you know, I would say in the modern lifestyle causes our body to go off balance. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they're off balance in that sense, right? You know, in, in, in tra traditional Chinese medicine results in what we call uh, energy block. Or what we call stagnation. Lah. You know, if you think about it as all these meridians are like uh, rivers that flow, you know, from the mountains to the lakes and so forth, right? Yeah. And then, you know, all this river in the mountains, uh, take that as like the blood, blood in our body, right? And inside the blood, there are many important things, right? There's the immune cells, uh, there's the white cells, which actually fights uh, infection, your blood carries nutrients to the body and, and so forth. And imagine if the river is to get blocked or get jammed, right? What happens, right? The water gets stagnant. Mm. You know, yeah, the yeah. water starts getting a bit smelly. Yeah. You know, fish fish are not very healthy. So it's the same concept. You think about all these licks in these things are like our all the, our body organs, whether the liver, the lungs, and so forth. So if the blood and she kind of gets stagnated in it, right, uh, you, you become unhealthy. Right, and that depends on which part of the organ gets uh, blocked. For example, if the stomach meridian gets stagnated, then it leads to stomach issues like you know constipation, you know gas, bloatedness, and Got so it. forth. And if it's the lung meridian, then you lead to stuff like you know. Okay, kids, one minute. Issues. Let me show. Yeah. Let me show the audience about this character of the Chinese character. I think that is very interesting. Yeah, that's Although I have a yeah, it's direct translation. Maybe we just take a look and see what you you mean. Okay, if you were to see on Google translation Chinese medicine, yeah, yeah, yeah. the di direct translation is Zhong Yao. Yeah? yeah. But this so character, thing, that's what you thing. mentioned. Yes. yes can, right. can you explain again about this, this yeah. character so if itself? You, if you look at it, right, it's, it's, a, it's a square box with a line right across. If you look at it, it's like a balance. It's like a balance. Yeah. It's like a way. It's wow. like a way square. Wow. So that's really what I mean. It actually means the, the medicine of balance. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Chinese yeah, medicine yeah. actually is all about balancing. Yeah, it's not balance. It's not because it came no, from China. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Although, no, China, no, no. although if you think about it, China, the way China is translated is called Middle Kingdom. So mm. that word kind of means uh, center mid. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of uh, parallels if you see, you know, a couple of things that kid, kid said right now, Chrissy. You know, it's, it's got a lot to do with uh, the overall well-being. This is straight yeah. in line to the, what Dr. Srijit was saying, you know, uh, day before, you yeah. know, uh, what time you sleep, what time, you know, how much of yeah. the electronic devices you use, what the diet is. So like I always said in the beginning, like, you know, I think, I think all of these ancient um, healing and medical techniques, they yeah. all run parallel to each other. Mm, it's correct. the interpretation yeah. and the language yeah. and the practice that brings in the change yeah. to that specific group of people. 
Also, yeah. what is available around that area, you know, I think uh, yeah. what spices yeah. available in China may not be available in India because of, uh, you know, flora and fauna. Yeah. Last week, we were talking about what is available in India and there's a lot yeah. of things, there, but there's a lot of things in India that's not found in Western country or Asia country, but yeah. so there's alternative. Then again, maybe we can ask it to tell us what are the things that we think can boost the immunity, but what if it's not available in India, what can we do? To yeah, so for right now, for example, kid, what are there any any specific things that you do to keep yourself safe from COVID or? Um... Yeah, um, so there are a couple of things, you know, I mean, primarily, for example, COVID is a respiratory issue to start with, right? So there are ways. Uh, so again, I mean, that's the nice thing in, 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 in Singapore, right? And we are pretty cosmopolitan. <clears throat> So even though, you know, you might say that, you know, uh, uh, I do meridian therapy, but, you know, uh, that's why I end up dabbling in, uh, you know, aromatherapies, you know, cell therapies and, and many means. Lah. So let's take for meridian therapy, right? Knowing that the lung is probably the first, the first line of attack from the virus. So strengthening up your lungs become very important. Right? So the way we do it probably will do, uh, you know, keep ourselves, keep our lung meridian healthy through by doing uh, lung gua sha, Okay, and then you yeah, know yeah. using the uh, using the right uh, TCM oils that strengthen up the lung meridian. So in this case, it will be something like this called uh, magnolia. So uh, yeah, I think you guys can see it, right? That's a uh, magnolia. Yeah. yeah. So magnolia, this magnolia is a TCM. Uh, magnolia. <laughs> by the way, it's not a magnolia milk. Okay, I know some of those who are in <laughs> in, <laughs> in Asia kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So magnolia <laughs> really comes from the flower. Comes from the flower of the magnolia tree, right? And it's actually harvested only during the point where during spring, a very short span of time when the when the magnolia buds have not bloomed up into flowers yet, they actually harvest the buds and extract the uh, magnolia essential oils, right? And then so the, the base herb of this magnolia as a herb has been known to be very good for the lung and large intestine meridian, right? So that's that's why uh, you know then you by using the right uh, herbal oils, you can actually energize the meridians and by doing gua sha, it helps to, you know, keep the traffic clean, you know, keep your, keep your, keep your waterways unblocked and, and so forth. So let's touch a little bit on uh, how do you know we are talking about, you know, if all your meridians were blocked, you know, and then it leads to different health issues. The question is how do you unclog all these blockages, right? Oh, okay, there are many... One minute, one minute. You're talking yeah. about magnolia oil, right? This particular yeah. one, is there a, like a specific brand that is good or is there like something, if somebody yeah. want to buy this oil, what, what should be, what we should, should we be looking for? Yeah, There's okay. so many so, kind of this oil in the market, right? Yeah, there, there, there are many, you know, but the thing is, you know, uh, after I've been in this and uh, tried different stuff, you know, the, the best one yeah. actually comes from uh, this company uh, called Avita. And what happened is because these oils were not just, uh, you know, well, what happened is many people will just distill oils for oils. No? Let's say you want, uh, okay, let's take lavender, okay? Let's say lavender, then you will just distill lavender flowers and have lavender oil. Now, but uh, I always tell people the big difference with this, right? When you go to a Chinese herbal store, yeah. right? and then mm -hmm. you know, you, and you, you have a bunch of herbs, you will realize that the, the herbalist will never give you just a single herb. Right, even in in yeah, I mix, think it's yeah, India, it's a mix thing, yeah, it's right. always a mix, right? Why is that so? Because you know you yeah. need different herbs to bring out the properties of the main herb, and also to oh. complement and balance it up, right? That's why you'll find different herbs coming in. So it's the same, you know. Uh, let's say if you go to a Chinese herbal store and order, say angelica or tang kue, which is good for nourishing the blood, but you will never see them just give you a single herb, right? It's always a mixture of herbs. So likewise, right, the big difference with these oils that I found was that, you know, because they were uh, researched and developed by professors who specialize in TCM. So even though it is called magnolia by itself, but it's actually a whole bunch of different herbal oils uh, yeah. put together so that you can kind of use it straight from the bottle. So like instead of brewing a, a packet of herbs for, you know, for ages and so on, right, now you kind of get all this in a small little bottle. No, which makes it very effective and very easy for me to teach meridian therapy. Like, that's what I really love about this set of uh, uh, TCM oils. Like, okay? yeah. So yeah, just to answer that, yes, you know, I think it is uh, what, I have, what, I have, what I've done is for some of my friends who couldn't get hold of them, I actually helped uh, send it down to 
places like US, Canada, and so forth, like you know. Uh, mm-hmm. But for people who are in the Southeast Asia region, it's probably easier to be able to get hold of. And then you know, of course, for some of you, uh, you know, who's listening right now, you're interested. By all means, just get in touch with me. I'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, to to uh, to you know yeah. to to help you out. Okay. So now let's come back to a little bit about the clearing of the drains, right? We all know about that. You're okay, you know, your meridians are blocked. So what do we do right now? Now, yeah, yeah. typically, you know, when you feel uncomfortable, what do you do, right? You typically will go for things like a massage, right? You know, you go for a massage, the guy squeeze yeah. you out, and then you, you, you feel better, but you don't know why. Uh, you're going to squeeze you out. Uh, <laughs> yes. in the way you say, like, I'm not going yeah. for a massage. Yeah. <laughs> So you kind of feel a little bit better, but you know you don't know why. But generally, that's because you know it's like the drain, right? You 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 kind of juggle it a little bit. You know the water started flowing, so you, your your blood and cheese kind of start flowing, and then you yeah. kind of feel better. But yeah, sometimes yeah. when the blockage is a little bit more serious, you find that you know the 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 person would kind of use a lot of force, maybe use the elbow, maybe use the, so that's what we call a finger press, right? To try and unclog the whole thing, yeah, right. So yeah. painful. Yeah. yeah, I mean, depending on on which one you go for, right. And then, of course, there are methods that you may have heard of right now. For example, say uh, acupuncture, right? You know, the guys yeah. basically they are doing the same thing, right? They they are putting the needle, stimulate the points, is basically to unclog it. And then there'll be things like cupping, right? Cupping where you see the round yeah. marks on the body. The concept is the same. It's just trying to pull the toxins or the blockages of stagnation out from the body. And in this case, what I do is basically I teach Gua Sha, which is another method uh, which dates back all the way to four, five thousand years ago, right? Uh, which is yeah. called Gua Sha, right? And then uh, Gua Sha, or uh, what? There's a lot of name that it goes by, you know, scraping in different Asian countries, known by different names. In fact, in Indonesia, it's known as like a uh, correct. And correct, you know, basically means scrape to scrape. And then in Indonesia, they actually literally use a, a, a coin, a copper oh. coin to actually scrape, yeah, a scrape at different parts of can, the body. Can, again. can I show, can I share a screen to tell me which one is the, the one that you use? So people can I just share with you the screen. You tell me which is the... Uh, okay, can you all see? Okay, that looks I'm like gonna... a fish bone or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which one? This okay. one? I use the fish one. Uh, yeah. So there are okay. So there are oh, many. Too many shapes. tons of material. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, there are, there are many. Okay. So, well, yeah, so look at that. Not, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, uh, there are there are seriously you know hundred and one different designs. You know, by what is people, the main material in this kwasa method? What is it? What is the they, main material? Okay, Jay? I would say, yeah. Um, not really, not really. So I would say that if you are choosing a, a Kua Sha board, right? First is really understanding the, the, the materials. La. You know, the yeah. different, I would say first thing is never do plastic, okay? So none of these <laughs> that you see here should be plastics, okay? They should Shouldn't all be, be plastic, huh? natural material. Now the mm-hmm. best material is actually uh, made from a stone that comes from China called a uh, Pian stone or Pian Si. Now the reason is because that stone, you know, Pian Si, is use, it onyx? Is it onyx? Uh, no, it's not onyx. It's not onyx. Uh, it actually looks like a black volcanic stone. Uh, I don't think we see it in the picture here. No, not this one. You can probably just Google Pian Stone, B I A N S T O N E. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. very challenging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, it doesn't matter. So never mind. Yeah, it doesn't so, matter. Yeah. Yeah, just so just a brief description. You, know, you 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 get them made of uh pian stone, you know, which is a little bit more expensive because of yeah. the, the stone has the when when you scrape it has, it, it emits different frequencies. A lot of people like to use jade, you know, things like this. That's jade. Because jade has a very has an energy very close to the human body. And then of Sorry, course, you know go ahead. just give me one minute, my dog yeah. is barking. <laughs> <laughs> personally, personally, I will use this thing, uh, made made from black buffalo horn. Uh, to me, okay. it's cheap, cheap and good. Again, black buffalo horn is because the black buffalo horn is a is a ink animal. So you know when when you when you when you do it, it's a natural material and it detox. But more important to me, uh, when choosing a uh, a a kua sha board, to me is the edge, the edge where you are going to do the scraping. You know, like for example, I have this jade one that I just got in, uh, you know, uh, you know, a couple of days ago. But I, I was just complaining to the guy that you know the edges are not uh, at the desired uh, uh, 
uh, sharpness that I wanted to, you know, in which okay. case that it doesn't give you the desired effect, you know, so it might look fancy. So that's, that's something that I caution people with. Apologies. Once you get, once you get the, once you get to know what the right thickness is, type of stuff, uh, then yeah, then you know, uh, you know, remember how how it's like, and then you know when you when you would go because there are a lot that are just sold for souvenir sake, really. A lot of them, you know, in Chinatown and so on, they're just sold and they tell you, oh, it's, it's Quasha bought. But when you use it, you know, for those who practitioners who are used to it, they 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 can tell quite quickly whether you know the the edges are sharp enough. So it, it shouldn't be too sharp. In which case it become abrasion. <laughs> it shouldn't be too blunt. In which case is yeah. So you know. Now, the other thing is uh, a lot of people always ask me what shape should I buy? I say, look, my preference is for any beginner is to get a fish shaped one because a fish shaped one, you know, it has different ages that you can use for different purposes, right? So for, for, for a big surface, I would use the, I would use the white, I would use the white spot uh, to, to uh, you know, to, to do. And, you know, there are shark tooth, they are like uh, the, the shark tooth that I can use for Hey, Quasha, you know, there's a little fish tail at the end where I can use it for very fine works and so forth. So you can actually manipulate different uh, portions of the, the fish shape uh, to do different type of Quasha. Uh, now, uh, maybe a very summarized uh, 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 description of what Quasha is, right? Quasha uh, essentially, why, why is effective? Is like because for the same amount of force that I use for a massage, for example, Right, I'm, I'm putting it all onto an edge of a, a Kua Sha board, in which case I can actually put more effective force into, you know, clearing the clearing the block channels, okay? Now, in, in the summary, uh, Kua Sha is a form of natural therapy where a lubricated skin, okay? Now, always remember this word, never let anybody Kua Sha you dry, okay? That is not Kua Sha, become abrasion. <laughs> 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 serious, serious, okay? Yeah, so always make sure that you know your your masseu or your wearer is uses some form of lubrication. Okay, now next you will notice that it always goes in a single direction, okay, a, a unidirectional, and then you know uh, then it's just putting force in a unidirection and depending on which meridians you are quashing, uh, then you know that in a very uh, summarized form uh, is really what quasha is uh, all about. So you just you just start scraping from here from here and then go to the edge yeah typically i would follow the flow of the meridian so for example in on the arms okay the arms where the lung meridian starts okay uh the lung meridian actually starts at the fold of the arms actually yeah. runs on the inside of the arm all the way to the thumb so if i were to if i were to do uh my my I might as well show you, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's Whoa. say I'm gonna do. Let's say I'm just gonna do DIY. I'm gonna do DIY on my own lung meridian. Can you actually Quasha. do for yourself? Oh can yeah, you yeah. Do this? Think, you can. That's why right. I teach workshops for. It's essentially to do it. Nice. Yeah. So what we <clears throat> do is, uh, you know, uh, okay. This is a, a carrier oil called Vital Meridian, and then this is where the magnolia. Remember, I was saying for the lung meridian. Okay. So now. So I'm just going to put the oil all along the my lung meridian. Right? Is that to improve the lung function when you do that? Uh, yeah, it will uh, clear the lung function. Uh, so I'll just show you how simple it is for me to do, say, a lung meridian kua sha, right? So it starts with me massaging uh, uh, an acupressure point here called the zhong fu, which is right inside here. You can try and right, press right, it right. on the it's inside right. of the arm. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. press it, it's painful. So pain is a form of blockages. <laughs> then on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the yeah at this at this That's age, it? you can try that Rahu and see whether it's painful. It's okay, just massage there. Why why is this. why is pain involved in everything Chinese? You got acupuncture, <laughs> you got karate. <laughs> Okay, so think of think of Aki. some sick psycho <laughs> in us, right? Pain equal to goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a, that's a Sorry, I'm, I'm just so kidding. That's a, that's a Chinese that saying that says you know, uh, you know, pain basically oh, in a summary is a form of blockages. Like your body is signaling to you that hey, your you got traffic jam here. So how do you okay. feel? You either feel discomfort or you feel your pain. Right? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so I will it, massage yeah. the point. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is pain. Then I will massage pain. right at the tip of it, yeah, right, and then, uh, yeah, okay, so now I stimulated my key acupressure point, so if you think about it, this is like, 
this is like a, a train line, lah, right? I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, massaging the key stations, you know, to kind of stimulate them. Okay, then I will actually start, you know. Now in this particular case, because the lung meridian run straight yes. down all the way like that. Yes. Now this is what I would do. So just firm, steady pressure, right? Just firm, steady pressure. I would actually, you no, know, twenty to twenty-five strokes. Okay. Now, yeah, so remind you, the you, audience you need to replicate your arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to replicate. Yeah, 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 you you if you yes. don't have any, you can trust the liver, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going there, kids. <laughs> yeah, I just said barbecue chicken. Yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting because if you have blockages in your arm, you know, you can kind of feel like the kwa sha ball is, you know, is running on some. Yeah, um, its skin is changing. Yeah. Its skin is turning red. See? Yeah, yeah. So you can actually start to see where there are signs. Does of, it hurt? Uh, Case, uh, it not really, no, it's not. It's not. It doesn't. So if you do it with the light rubrication and the right force, which is what we recommend, right? Uh, see, every quite... every teacher says it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's, it's, quite, <laughs> pleasure, it's quite pleasurable actually. <laughs> okay, so once I run about twenty to twenty-five times, whatever comes out comes out. Right now, I'm going to finish up the remainder. So I'm just going to finish up all the way to my thumb. So typically, yeah. I would sit down and kind of place. I would kind of sit down and place my hands. On uh, on the surface lah, then I can watch TV and do this, you know. So you can, yeah, make this into a lifestyle, make this into a lifestyle, so you don't feel like it's a chore, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. And I tell you, you learn how to do that for your husband, she will love you forever. Christy, you can must love. <laughs> I have to train my husband to do it on me, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The next time you come back to Singapore, I'll, I'll put him through a, I'll put him through a crash course on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So I, today, today for some reason, our Facebook we have a lot of comments, but it does not show up. I, I don't yeah, know. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So James have said, uh, "Thank you, kids. It's very useful tips." <laughs> There's a lot of comment, but it didn't show up. <laughs> I okay, think they were so, like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> so it's pretty interesting. I tell you. Um. So I've done my left arm now. So kids, no. how how do you feel after that? That few stroke of thing. How do you feel? Oh. Uh, it doesn't feel like anything, seriously. I mean, if I do things like shoulder kwa sha, I might feel an instant relief. Lah, yeah, right? yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. But for lung kwa sha, you know, you, you probably will, will realize that, ah, okay, uh, you know, that's just it now. The thing is, after I do uh, one side, I got to do the other side because meridians are bilateral, which means Balance. they exist on the left hand side, they also exist on the right hand side. So we have 14 meridians in the body, 12 of them are what we call bilateral. Which means that if twelve of them exist on the left hand side, uh, twelve of them also exist on the right hand side. So you know when yeah. you do it, you know. So later on, I gotta I gotta finish up my right hand side to clear the left hand so, side. So so kids, if somebody have a migraine on the left side, we will have to do both sides of the. Yes, you always do oh. both sides. Nah, so you to don't. Balance uh, it. Yeah, not just the balance because it, it's just the highway, right? I mean, like for as a lot of people always think of migraine. This engineer talking highway. <laughs> 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 yeah, seriously, so a lot of people always think of migraine as just a, a thing to do with the head. You know, yeah. the, the fact is the migraine has a lot of things to do with the, what we call the gallbladder meridian. Okay, yeah, now you'd be surprised, right. right? Because in the Western world, the gallbladder is just like you know, a little organ somewhere in the body, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, in, in Chinese TCM, the gallbladder meridian starts at the head, right? So it actually starts uh, at the head, it actually runs three rounds around the head. And then it runs all the way to the shoulder and then you know to the and then right down to the thighs and so forth so when you get a migraine guess what a lot of time is your gallbladder really you think about it, your gallbladder highway here started yeah. getting traffic jam and sometimes the migraine can be on just one side of the head that's because yeah. remember it's bilateral right so you yeah. know sometimes the right side track the right side highway is a lot more blocked than the, than the left hand side. <laughs> okay, okay, so I have well, I have an audience. Oh. Sheila is there. Yeah. She's just asking, okay. So she used cold teaspoon on... <gasps> is it painful if we use cold teaspoon? <laughs> okay, so Sheila, what you have done is a form of gua sha. Okay, I tell you my, my most ultimate story, right? I was in a cafe. I didn't have my gua sha bought with me, but I had my oils. I said, bring me to the kitchen, right? I went to the kitchen. I got hold of a butter knife. Of course, not using the sharp edge, right? Butter knife. I, I, <laughs> okay, I, I, I okay, used the, the other side. Like, yeah, oh, because, sure. really, 
end of the day, end of the day, what's important is really you need an edge. You need an edge. Yeah, yeah. Right. Of course, some of the kwasha ball have its own energy, which helps better. But you know, for lack of anything, you know, uh, 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 like you said, like what Sheila said, like the ages of a tablespoon. In fact, in the older days, right, your grandma would use a porcelain spoon ah. uh, to do it. Yeah, ah, your, yeah your, I think your, I remember seeing yeah, that. Yeah, your older right, grandma yeah. would like you know use a porcelain spoon, and for lubricant, they use water to to do it. Right. Now, so Sheila, what you in, if you want to make what you do very effective, right? I tell you get the right uh, TCM oils to go with it, it works wonders, okay? So I always tell people, you know, if you want to clear, let's say, a headache, this is what I would do, right? Because this is the gallbladder meridian I'm using uh, for Citia, which is a oil for uh, the you know, energizing the gallbladder meridian. Yeah, this is really what I would do, you know, for a quick one in the office or wherever, I would put the Forsythia along the side. Now, for lack of a Kwa Sha board, instead of a teaspoon, I can just use my knuckles. I will go this. Right, I will actually basically go this and let the oil energize and clear the meridian. So that is a very effective way. Kids, what That's are what we I... doing now? <laughs> Wait a minute, what are we doing? What so are we this doing? Is this? Form... Yeah, so I'm clearing the gall. So you're talking about headaches, right? Oh, so this headache. is what I would do to help clear some of the blockages along so the gallbladder meridian. Yeah, just using the knuckle. Yeah, just using the knuckle with the nice. right oil. So I tell you, you can actually feel that you know the head gets lighter very quickly. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's a good uh, tip. That's interesting. Now, sometimes, what do we... sometimes I feel, sometimes I feel, if you're getting a headache, asking a children to leave the room is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> that helps too. Or you want? Or ask a husband to zip. Husband zip. <laughs> that my headache will go away too. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was a bad joke. <laughs> That was a bad joke. Except that most of the time, husband is the one who give you a headache, okay? Uh, <laughs> not the <this> case. <laughs> no, I always thought it's the lady who goes, no, not darling, not tonight, I've got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Speaking of which, kid, I got to ask you something. You get a lot of, you get a lot of these women reaching out to you on, on Facebook asking you to How be friends. You know What's going all, on? Oh my God. Oh no, no. Don't go there. <laughs> don't even go there. My goodness. <laughs> which, 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 which girlfriend you're talking about, Rahul? <laughs> Miss K, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, you, you put up, you put up all these stories of all these women trying to reach out to you, uh, which I find very, I mean, I, I know it originates like, you know, some prince or some king from Africa writing to me. <laughs> or some lady writing to me, my dear beloved, five million dollars and all that kind of stuff. Emails that generate from Africa. So I, I understand it's there, but but I have never put up the screenshots and made a story out of it. And and you seem to have a gift of narrating a story and you make it so um, light and so enjoyable that, you know, it, it just... Nice. I can't stop reading thing. your stories, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, see, you 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 write so well, and and I think it's 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 that gift of communication. You wrote about yeah. these girls trying to reach out to you. You wrote about the big ass fan. You wrote about <laughs> you know those 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 little hole in the wall restaurants. But we know Kim's feature on magazine, right? You know that, right? He's been featured on a digital magazine as well. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. secret so life well of peace, food okay? And restaurants. <laughs> I, I think it's just having an innate here. I mean, I okay, I mean back to that lady. Well, it was very funny, okay. <laughs> so I, I used to no no, I mean no, I mean I used all to now. You, it's so bad you're gonna so, tell all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean I used to just block them, you know, but then I was kind of, kind of curious as to hey, how does this all actually work? Yeah, right? where, you're like where, me. Where, <laughs> yeah, where does it where where is the hook line sinker, right? Where's the sinker? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and uh, well the, the, the thing is a lot of them are not very exciting, right? I mean they are pretty amateurish. But then you know, the ones that I wrote about, you know, was because they were pretty good. Right, oh. they, could, they could hold a conversation. You know, they, they took their time. You know, and it was interest. It was interesting to see how the relationship developed. Right. So my 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 initial one was that I thought I'll, I'll do one of these, and then I'll just kind of block it up and tell people, oh, this is really how it works. Like it was as an education thing. Yeah. So I actually started uh, 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 an initial post like that, but it kind of got a little bit boring. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, this, this is Kids, really do you seriously respond to those messages? 
Oh yeah. And and oh, yeah. he 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 builds the story really well. It's like oh, I mean, my gosh. <laughs> he makes them he makes them feel that he's he's fallen for them. He's really good. <laughs> did, Little did he know. <laughs> Little did he know. Yeah, okay. One right. man get, in China. Get, yeah, we better get back to to Meridian. <laughs> yeah, we got Meridian. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Now there okay. is a question for you, kids. There is a yeah, question yeah. for you. Hang on, let me see. The question is from Jane. Uh, let me just put this here. <coughs> oh, okay, wait. She actually asked, "Is there a possibility that of doing it wrong? Is that possible Ooh, if you try to do it yourself?" Wrong? Yeah, that's a good yeah. question. Okay, so I, I get that question a lot. Okay, so as long as you do it single direction and, and so forth, right? Seriously, there's nothing much you can go wrong with doing gua sha. That's the beauty of it. I like acupuncture. I like acupuncture. You could put it into the wrong, wrong, oh. wrong point. <laughs> wrong wrong point. point. Yeah. Oh my God! Never thought but of that. Know, yeah, yeah. But you know, we we kwasha. As long as you know where the meridian flows, and then you know, as long as that's not much. At most, is if you do it on the wrong meridian, you don't get the desired effect. That's really about it, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's really about it. But something else will happen. Yeah, so you are just clearing the other highway that may not be blocked, lah. That's really about it, lah. <laughs> okay. That's, uh. Yeah. So that's why I love to teach kwasha because it's so forgiving, you know. And then generally uh. because it's like you are doing a whole area bombardment, right? You know, the lung meridian kwasha is there. If I if I didn't get it accurately, you know, I would just be touching on the pericardium meridian or the heart meridian. But that's really about yeah. it. Yeah. Right, so that's the beauty of I I I love teaching kwasha because it's so. So as long as you now, move it in one direction. Yeah, single direction, and there's single a reason direction. for what happens uh, yeah, if you go wrong direction? direction. Okay, if if you are using the right sort of oil, even if you go the wrong, or you cannot remember which direction it was, just as long as you go uni direction, just don't don't go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So now I need to correct that. So there's one thing that you need to be careful doing that you don't get wrong. Okay. Yeah. When you do facial gua sha. It's facial? always facial. Do yeah, you yeah, just I, say we can use it for facial? Oh yeah, I I can give you an instant. Yeah, all the ladies are listening to oh you. Oh my game. god! Like we're like yeah, what no, is I, it? Seriously, I love <laughs> it. I always tell the guys who are single, you want to get the girl of your dream, go and learn facial kwasha. <laughs> Do it once for her, she'll never leave you. Yeah, okay. That's that's just wrong. Can you imagine going on the first date? Hi, I'm Raul. Here, let me touch your face. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, remember why it's called a face lift, right? So if you are doing facial kwasha, your stroke should always be going upwards. Okay, so it's called a face lift, not a face right, right, down. Right. Okay, you do it. Oh, okay. So you do it upwards, yeah. You do yeah, it upwards, so, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's, it's always upwards. It's always upwards and so forth. Now, that's why it's called other... face lift. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's a fair. I mean, that's that's yeah, a pretty. Yeah. Now the the other thing for 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 ladies who are interested in facial gua sha, please choose the right type of oil, because a lot of oils are really you know they could clog up the pores uh, of your face and then the next day you wake up with acne and stuff like that you know a big no no, yeah the the you know all the address of the body you know you may go and use your your peanut oil whatever it is but look for the face you know please make sure you have very good quality oil that it doesn't clog up the pores of your face okay what, okay so tell us now what pores. can what can kwasa do for face what what can they what kind of, it will eliminate wrinkle what do you do yes uh so wrinkle face lift you know is like you know your your laugh lines your your i could lift your face up uh in a matter of 15 20 minutes you know, in yeah. fact, what we used to do is we we were used to do facial kwasha one half of the face, yeah. And then when the when the participants take photo, then it looks like you got a stroke because one side of the face is lifted and the other. Oh Christ! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, never go out and never go out with a half done face. Okay, you know, somebody will call ambulance. Or somebody will call an ambulance. Is, yeah. So somebody asked, is a rose oil the purest form of oil? Uh, what, what kind Sheila's of got a lot of rose oil. You know, we are like standing by the. You see, the women are very excited with yeah, this topic. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, you you gotta you gotta be careful about using uh single oils, right? Because a lot of single oils are not suitable to be used straight out from a bottle, right? I mean, then they typically they will tell you to 
uh, kind of mix it up with a carrier oil like a jojoba oil or a, 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 a wheat germ oil and then you got to do that portion that's why typically even for any massage uh, where you know they tell you to mix single oils you will never see them ask you to use single oil directly on yeah the skin. always there's a carrier right there's always, there must a, carrier, always be right? a carrier right so, so, the, the, yeah, so the big difference the big difference for you know the oils that i was using was number one is i could use them straight from the bottles because they've mm. already been properly blended now then the thing is uh you know uh i think there was an oil okay typically because on the face itself that's the stomach meridian that's the uh that's the liver gallbladder meridian running through it right part of the acupressure lines mm -hmm. you know so i would use the oils that goes onto those points together with the carrier oil so typically for our face uh, i would use a blend of that uh, carrier oil with uh, three particular oils one is called Huo Xiang for the tummy for the stomach meridian mm -hmm. and the uh, liver gallbladder one and I might put a tinge of Angelica to give you that rosiness, lah, you know. So I, 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 I've done that for bridal, you know, so give them that, that radiance before Rosy. the next oh, yeah. wow. okay. So the next okay. morning before they do their makeup, you know, they, they have a radiant and lifted face. Lah. So, you know, that's my typical uh, chippo wedding gift to a bride to be. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. So <laughs> what if yeah, they okay. have a swollen face the next day kicks you are oh, so no, dead I tell you, they, they, they. Uh, it, oh it's also a very good way to uh to get rid of eye bags because eye bags is a sign of poor blood circulation around the what, eyes what do you do with eye bag kids show yeah. us what do you do so uh very simple i would i would use faucetia typically like no i was just teaching this to ladies what is that what is the oil again what is the oil that's, again that's faucetia that's for the liver and gallbladder right then what I would do is I would just use the edge of the gua sha ball. I will actually run it gently on the bones, on the on that bone. Oh. In fact, yeah, Christy, in fact, if you could just use your knuckles and run it along, if you, yeah. if you hear the you can hear the crack, 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 crack sound. Yeah, those are actually yeah. a form of the blockages. Do that? All yeah, right. Those are the form of the blockages. To so drain off the this, yeah. And also clear the blockages. <laughs> then you can also do it. Oh on my eye. Eye. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do, poke your eye so out. The, knuckle, the knuckle will Oh, wait, I got to take my glasses off. Wait, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do that when you're watching TV. It's actually pretty cool, you know? I mean, you're watching TV and then you kind of like, you know, do your face lift and stuff like that. So I, I always tell people, make it into But how long life. would the redness stay? How long would the redness go away? Okay, so the interesting thing would be this, right? You know, you, you yeah. can see these quite red marks on people, you know? Typically, if it's quite serious on the body, yeah. Some of them may take like two or three days before they kind of clear up. But on the face, surprisingly, it will not, it will, the marks will not come out as that. Uh, you might feel a little bit reddish, but within like 15, 20 minutes, it should all clear away. You know, but certain parts of the body, you might feel a little sore, like a little soreness. Then, you know, depending on what organs it reflects, uh, it, depending on what organ it reflects, right? Uh, you can actually tell the person, uh, you know, what are some of the organ or meridian they might need strengthening. Okay, yeah, I, I give yeah. you this very interesting angle. I don't know whether you realize that, you know, a lot of ladies, maybe about a week before their menses, right, will tend to break out in uh, in pimples and acne. Yeah. And if you yeah. realize where they pop yeah. up, yeah. it's always at the bottom of the cheek. Okay. Because yeah. this is where the kidney meridian is and the kidney meridian governs the reproductive system right mm. so it's also a form that you know your kidney meridian may be a bit unbalanced also for the ladies if you tend to have that you know what you can do is then you can use the angelica oil you know and then massage your kidney meridian daily basis and then strengthen back and rebalance back the the, the hormonal systems and that you know would, would help with that right? yeah so well. yeah yeah Very to good. to, to help so you see this. Is, is quite amazing we're talking about faith we we actually divert from our topic okay <laughs> but right we're supposed to give tips to uh you know COVID. okay yeah. that means is there something that we can talk about strengthening the immunity system yeah sure, so, sure. especially this COVID time if uh, hopefully people stay away from the crowd they keep their hygiene and you yeah. know wash their face wear their mask but what else can they do with TCM or Kwasa to strengthen the immunity yeah. system? So, so what, yeah, so what we have been kind of teaching uh, during the COVID period on a pro bono basis was something what we call yeah. a human yeah. reset, right? Now, a human reset is actually a very simple step. In fact, I've actually prepared a short, uh, we'll be able to share, right? Uh, we, yeah, you can share your screen. Share. Yes, you can share, okay. yes. Okay, let me just uh, share. 
share my screen. Okay, what do y'all see right now? Uh, nothing. <laughs> what is this? Nothing. Can you see something? So you you should at the bottom of the um, the 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 browser you see where it says mute stop cam. Kit for yourself. Uh, hang on, ah, uh, let me just get to uh, mute stop cam. Where do I find that? Mute uh, on the Streamyard window. Yep, yep. You okay, see, there I should saw... be an option to share. Yeah, uh, I saw a share. Yeah, just click on the share, and then that should do it. Uh, okay, I did click, but I don't think it. Uh, what? Uh, okay, let me see. Huh? Today the system a bit weird, right? <laughs> like, don't know what happened. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think I, okay. Uh, okay. Do you all see something coming up? Mm, nothing as yet. Okay. Yes. No, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this, this, this is something that we've been teaching, you know, uh, a lot of people to do for themselves, you know, and then uh, we, we call it a human reset, right? Uh, so it, it evolves around. We actually learned that about four years ago from a professor, right? You know, it's a very simple, you know how, uh, you know, when your phone's kind of go haywire, your computer kind of go haywire, you know, and then you don't have anything to uh, uh, that you know what to do, right? You yeah. kind of hit the control, alternate, delete, or just power off and reset everybody. So in the same way, right, the, the professors actually taught us a very simple way that we are able to reset the whole body. And this is a very strong, this is a very simple, but yet very effective way of strengthening up your body's uh, immune system, right? So we, we just call it the human reset, uh, you know, and that's because, you know, all the elements in the body are involved and you actually get into a very serious case of COVID, la, okay? <laughs> that's really, okay, it, it starts with doing a balance of Indian Kwasha, but I will skip over this. So, you know, uh, for, for thing, what I will do is I will, okay, the, we, 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 we tell people to do this, even for people with chronic health issues and so forth, you know, do this human reset under the sun, a very powerful technique, okay? Now, don't, mm. don't worry too much about, you know, taking notes or whatever it is, you know, if you are interested in getting, uh, you know, the, the tips on how to do it and so forth, just put a note on the Facebook chat and I'll, I'll respond to you guys and then, you know, uh, get you to where you could get the tips, like, okay? Uh, so we typically recommend that you do it in the sun because you know, our body actually takes chi in from the sun as a form of energy. Mm -hmm. So if you do it in the morning, you do it with the back to the sun. If you do it in the afternoon, you do it facing the sun. Okay, so you know, uh, don't worry about taking down all these notes. You know, if you are interested, you know, I'll be more than happy to share them with you later. Right? Now it involves actually uh, massaging five key acupressure points around the body in a certain sequence. Okay. Now, this, these few acupressure points may look deceptively simple, but they are very powerful points because we actually call them uh, yuan shi or source points, right? And this is where the, the you know, the, the chi from those meridians actually gather and then spread throughout the, the meridian. So it goes into uh, massaging five, uh, five key acupressure points starting with the left leg. Uh, ah, starting with the me. left leg, starting with the left leg, you know, uh, between, well, you guys are, 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 are curious about it, between your first toe and your second toe, all the way to uh, where the two bones meet each other. And you step yeah, down on it, yeah. right? That's a very painful point for many people, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So it starts with the, the left leg, okay? It starts with the left leg, you know, the Tai Chung point. On that point itself, you know, you can massage up to 30 to 50 times in a clockwise direction, followed by anti-clockwise direction. So you'll start with this point, do this on a daily basis, okay? Massage this point first. That's the first point. And then the second point actually goes to the center of the yeah. uh, hand, left hand, right in left, the center, okay, yeah. left yeah. hand, yeah. right in the center, the what we call the darling, okay? Uh, we typically, you know, if you have the oils, then you can use the right oils to energize them. But if you don't have the oils, even just doing these points by itself uh, is powerful. Again, you know, 25 to 30 times clockwise and then massage anti-clockwise. So it's the left leg. Yeah, okay. left, left leg, left hand. Left hand. Yeah, and then you go to the right hand. Okay, Over this here. is the part of the right lung meridian. Again, on the wrist line, but at the edge of it, okay? Oh, so now this yes. thumb is not in the center, it's at the edge. Yeah, I thought like this is the edge. This is the lung meridian point right, called right. Tai Yuan, okay. okay? Then you massage that same thing, you know, 30 times clockwise, 30 times any clockwise. 
and then you move to the kidney meridian which is right mm. at the bottom of your leg the 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 ball behind the ball of your uh, not the ball behind that bone on your foot behind that point yeah. again you massage that uh, 30 times why 30 times any clockwise that's called a Thai seat okay and then you go back and complete the cycle on the left leg itself okay which is the spleen meridian the Thai by okay that's wow. where you kind of massage that uh, 30 times clockwise 30 times any clockwise okay now, <clears throat> I, I would serious I would really encourage you all to try that for yourself okay now these five points will look deceptively simple but these five points I tell you done right and done on a regular basis you know will be able to strengthen up uh, will be able to strengthen up your immune system uh, very well okay wow. am I back to the oh okay I'm back here right? oh. So, Kate, this seems to be quite a specialized thing. I don't think we can just pick it up and learn ourselves. Will you be able to uh, hold a sessions to teach our community how to sure, do sure, this sure. basic? Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah, be amazing. yeah more, than, now, more than happy to do okay, that. What we should do is we probably have a call out to anybody who's interested to learn about this quasa properly. And then we can hold a session, a basic session yeah. to teach people how to do that. I think because there's so many beneficiary uh, <laughs> it, but yeah it's so uh, a bit complicated now <laughs> i think like which point where is the positions you know i think it's better to learn it properly through you since you're uh, an expert yeah, it, 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 yeah i could do that or you know i could send you the link to my uh i, I do have a facebook uh, group that's done up and then the yes. human research actually quite well written up and there's yes. also videos inside so it's quite actually easy to uh we, to we, emulate, we should yeah. do a post yeah we should do yeah, a post yeah. and then post can also yeah yeah, that'd sure. be fantastic. Now, yeah. kids, this is such a valuable uh, you know, information you have given us. And we know that you're speaking on our Wheel of Wellness Festival on 25th of June. And you'll be talking more detail on this Kwasa, how do it benefits uh, our whole well-being. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, anyone... I'm actually detailing, yeah. So I'm actually yeah. detailing whether to do the human reset then also. You know, I think that will be a very useful Yes, uh, yes. Session, I think yeah. yeah, we can have that discussion and then we will know what is best. You know, we're gonna yeah. bring the best on the Wheel of Wellness uh, Festival on 25th of June. Sure, sure. Now, if anyone uh looking forward, because you can see he have tons of knowledge on this wellness thing, and I, I don't think we can even finish with him with this one hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if you look forward uh, and you want to know more about kids, please do join us on Wheel of Wellness um festival on 25th of June. Uh, the invitations and the registration will be open next week so that you can register for the... It's, it's going to be free uh, for now. Uh, and then we have tons of amazing speakers that's going to come on board and share with you the knowledge on how of well-being on physical, mental and spiritual. Now, thank you so much for uh, being with us today. And we will work with kids again to put up the next uh, course sure. on Meridian proper. <laughs> then that's where we can like really learn it properly and not do it the wrong way like vertical or like reversing and that's like so dangerous <laughs> okay thank you so much kids how about Rahul do you have anything for kids no no it's it's good to know and and I think um what what I really enjoyed about this um this whole session was uh, realizing that Kwasha is actually very forgiving you know yes yeah you you can't really go wrong with it at worst you will just be you know fixing uh, a meridian that doesn't need to be fixed so there is no <laughs> anything wrong yeah, with yeah, it I, I i don't think there's a marine that doesn't need fixing so you can always do with some improvement so you know improvement yeah it's, yeah it just gets bad yeah, so yeah that's, that's been really good and and it's fascinating to hear so many different opinions over over the last couple of months yeah and yeah. Uh, like i always said in the big thing you know uh, when when the community started i i personally feel it's all uh, generally the same understanding and realization over the years that each civilization has got it's just their interpretation and their uh, ways of fixing it based on what they have around in their community yeah. is what yeah, makes yeah. these things different otherwise i think it's just the same philosophy so we have tons of people who came today although they did not show up they are really really grateful <laughs> they are really grateful that you know what we have showed them today thank you so much i think the yeah. audience are really anticipating for more as well thank you so much case and we catch up with you again thank you everyone we will, for coming yes we do today. thank you so much case thank you yeah. take care bye-bye thank you bye -bye. so much take care stay see you. Take care. Okay. thank bye. you bye-bye thank you bye